Welcome to RV News and Recalls from Destinations A to Z. I am Glenn Bailey. Welcome to the January of the 2024 edition. And if this is your first time joining us, then welcome. This is a monthly video bringing you the latest in RV industry news and RV market news, along with the most important of all RV recalls. If this is not your first time joining us, then welcome back. Let's get this video started. Starting off as obviously as always, RV industry, Camping World expands again. When is Camping World going to stop acquiring dealerships? It seems never. Every month they're acquiring more and more privately owned dealerships. And sadly, the sales and service just keep sliding downhill. And that's what no RV owner wants to hear. Marty Holman sold his dealership to Camping World after 12 years in business. Holman partnered with RV Business Solutions on the sale. Holman has been in the RV industry for over 25 years. He worked at Boudry RV, a dealership that shut down in 2010. In 2011, Marty and two partners bought the RV consignment specialist assets. The consignment store in El Mirage, Arizona became RV Arizona. RV Arizona is located on US 60 Grand Avenue Southeast 303 Highway Loop. The dealership sits in an area with high infrastructure growth. Camping World Chairman and CEO Marcus Lamona said that Marty Holman and the RV Arizona team have built an industry-leading process around RV consignments, where they expect to leverage these skills to supercharge their existing consignment business. We'll see about that. Continuing with the RV industry, last month we brought you the huge drop in the PPI metrics for the wholesale, which indicated that finally it's looking like RVs might be ready to get back to being a buyer's market. Wholesale prices in October posted their biggest decline in three and a half years, according to Bureau and Labor Statistics. This month, the wholesale prices were flat in November after a large decline in October, Bureau and Labor Statistics reported. The producer price index, PPI, a measure of the prices that companies get for finished goods for the marketplace was unchanged after a 0.4 decrease in October. Year over year, the PPI rose 0.9. PPI peaked at 11.5 year over year gain in March of 2022. Good inputs fell from the previous month in two of the four supply chain stages. Stage four good inputs measuring the products purchased by industries primarily producing the sold and final demand such as R as RV manufacturers rose to 0.1% in November after a 0.4% decline. Overall, stage four intermediate demand rose 1.5% year over year, slightly down from the 1.9 year over year increase in October. Good input stage three inter intermediate demand measuring suppliers to stage four producers such as RV manufacturers fell 0.6% in November after revised 1.9% decline in October. Overall, year-over-year, year, Stage 3 demand fell 3.7% year-over-year. It's a ninth consecutive year-over-year year decline, which is great news for RV buyers. Good inputs for the Stage 2 intermediate demand, measuring suppliers to Stage 3 suppliers, fell 1.4% in November after revised 1% down decline in October. November's decline is the largest monthly decline since June. Overall, stage two intermediate demand declined 2.4% year over year. Finally, good inputs for stage one demand rose 0.1% in November, revised as a 0.8% decline in October. Overall demand declined 1.5% year over year. That's the eighth consecutive year over year decline. Great news. RV industry continuing. It's almost time for the best RV show in the world again. Yes, that's right. It's time for the Florida RV Super Show. The RV Super Show will feature everything from truck campers to $3 million Prevos and mules. If you're looking about getting into an RV, then look no further as most brands and models will be here on full display for your viewing pleasure beginning on January the 17th through the 21st. Each ticket entry will get you in for two days and trust me, you're going to need it. Be sure to check out the best prep guide to get ready for the show. The link will be in the video description below. Continuing with the RV industry, and speaking of the Florida RV Super Show, Integra will be unveiling the 2025 Cornerstone with an all new chassis. For the first time in Integra history, 
they will offer the cornerstone with either a Spartan K3 or a Freightliner chassis. Yes, you heard it correct. Here on Destination J to Z RV News and Recalls, they will be offering a Freightliner chassis now as one of the options. Integra Coach Director of Product Development Pat Carroll said as a result of the unprecedented sales combined with having retail customers asking for Freightliner on, our, on their rear engine models, we have listened and responded with a new option at, with an SL chassis. The SL chassis has a 20,000 pound towing capacity and independent front suspension. Freightliner's V-Ride rear suspension reduces body roll. Ultra steer precision tuned tag axles reduces turning radius up to 17%. The motorhome features Freightliner's drive tech controls and all accessible on the steering wheel and the steering column. An OptiView all digital display, the features are included in Integra Safe View Dash and Road Watch Safety Suite. The Cornerstone's SL chassis has a five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Over 450 locations in the US and Canada can service the chassis. Integra will reveal the 2025 Cornerstone of the public, the booth 760 at the Florida RV Super Show, Florida in Tampa, Florida, January the 17th through the 21st. And yes, we are gonna be there to bring you that video as well. Continuing with the RV industry, Fleetwood RV is launching a new line of Type B Mercedes-Benz motorhomes, a first for the legacy Type A manufacturer. Fleetwood RV product manager Doug Miller said that the Excursion brand Type B offers the travel flexibility and convenience to consumers whether they have been beginning their RV journey or downsizing from larger models. Excursion smaller size is easier to store for many customers than Rev Group's traditional offering. Their end goal is ultimately to, is that the right consumer finds the right product and really enjoys it for the life of their ownership. And if they can create the environment in which they can do that, then they feel that that has been successful. The model has four floor plans. The AL2 floor plan, which is built on a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, 144-inch wheelbase. Miller called AL2 Fleetwood's new adventure floor plan. It's built to drive off-road with all-wheel drive, roof rack options. The second is the SL2, built on the larger 170-inch wheelbase. The two other floor plans, the SL2E and the SL2, 4E are built on the 177 inch wheelbase sprinters and include extra seating. Excursion has four different exteriors, silver, arctic white, to gray and stone. Interior color options are graphite with reposed gray cabinets or stone with khaki cabinets. Fleetwood's new van camper includes an Alpine sound system, power folding rear bed sofa, 13,500 BTU rooftop gray air conditioners, a 2000 watt inverter, charger, power awning, LED light, porcelain toilet inside the wet bath. The kitchen has an induction cooktop, microwave, and refrigerator. Dealers have already begun ordering the new vehicle and, and Miller said that in coming the weeks, the excursions will ship out to the Florida, Texas, and California. Fleetwood RV will debut the vehicle at the 2024 RV Super Show coming up in Tampa, Florida. Yes, we are going to be there to bring that to you. RV industry continues. Colorado-based teardrop manufacturer has filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection. Teardrop Taylors LLC made the bankruptcy filing on November 30th. The company listed liabilities of over $804,000 and assets of $35,000. Assets listed included a 21 Toyota Tacoma valued at $30,000. Office furniture, fixtures, computer equipment, and collectibles for $5,000, $80 cash, tools, and unknown value. No trailers were listed among the company's assets in the bankruptcy filing. The manufacturer was founded by, in 2014 by Dean Wiltshire. Four years later, the company moved into an 8,000-square-foot building that doubled its previous size, according to BizWest Media Report. In 2022, the company expanded into a 20,000-square-foot facility. Manufacturer employed approximately 40 workers. The bankruptcy filing said Colorado teardrops generated over $2 million in gross revenue in 2023 before the filing. The total was a large drop in, in $6.8 million listed in 2022 gross revenue and 3.8 in 2021 gross revenue. It's always sad to hear about an RV company filing for bankruptcy. Still continuing with the RV industry, something we never want to ever happen again 
Encore RV suffered extensive damage to a fire that started at Weld Shop the morning of November 22nd. Encore RV announced Monday that the fire occurred about 2.30 a.m. local time at the Elkhart Fire Department responded to the scene after receiving a call a security officer was patrolling the area. The security officer reportedly saw smoke and flames coming from the rear of the building where the weld shop is located. The company said that the press release the, the fire department was able to contain most of the fire to the weld shop preventing further damage into the main production area. The weld shop was a total loss and the remainder of the production facility and offices suffered severe smoke and soot damage. No one was in the building and there was no reported injuries. The cause of the fire is still under investigation according to the press release. Encore RV manufactures both the Rogue and Venue tra travel trailers, lines, and has dealers throughout the United States and Canada. Let's talk about the RV market. For the first time in 18 months, RVIA reported wholesale shipments increased compared to the same month a year earlier. RVIA's November 2023 manufacturer survey reported total wholesale RV shipments at 25,160. Shipments increased 2.8% compared to 24,470 shipments registered in 2022. Today, RV shipments is still down 38.4% with 291,000 shipments. RVIA president and CEO Craig Kirby said coming off of the holidays, they are encouraged by the reports of the increased RV vacations and campground reservations throughout the winter months. Tollables were up 4.4% from November with 21,429 shipments. Motorhomes, however, were down at 5.4% at 3,731 compared to November of last year. If we enter 2024, there are signs pointing to increased RV shipments and retail sales, according to Kirby. Particularly in the latter half of the year, RV usage remains high and they expected to be improvements to the macroeconomic environment this year, especially with interest rates coming down, hopefully. It's time for the RV Resort Spotlight this month, and it's Silver Palms RV Resort in Okeechobee, Florida, sitting just a quarter mile north of the beautiful Lake Okeechobee and only an hour away from the beautiful Atlantic beaches. Silver Palms RV Resort offers a getaway to the breathtaking scenery of Central Florida and the Everglades. Their luxury RV resort offers spacious RV sites, lots, cottages with exceptional amenities for your vacation lifestyle. Situated on 90 acres alongside the wetlands preserve, their resort is surrounded by picturesque lakes, wildlife, walking trails, and it's a destination for fishermen, boaters, hikers, birders, cyclists, and with luxury, sophistication, and the style for the fun-loving community, it's the perfect place to relax, escape, and adventure on. The amenities include an outdoor heated pool, hot tub, poolside bar and grill, clubhouse with billiards room, library, exercise room, card room, game room, with cards and boards games, bark park for your furry friends, pickleball tournaments, all concrete and paver sites, full hookup, water sewer, cable and Wi-Fi, tennis courts, basketball courts, shuffleboard courts, planned activities with an activities director, live entertainment, fitness classes, craft activities, water aerobics, lake access, yes, within walking distance to the grocery store and a shopping plaza. A link will be in the video description below. Be sure to let them know you've seen them here on Destinations A to Z. Let's talk about RV interstates. January had a tick up even though the Federal Reserve didn't raise rates. These are historically high interest rates and thus affecting the RV market. INET was the lowest at 6.24. However, they now have raised to 7.49. The new lowest is 6.99 at IFG and Great Loan RV. The Federal Reserve is saying that rate hikes are now done for the prime rate. It looks like that there might be a rate cut coming to the prime rate in March or May of 2024. My recommendation is to hold off until that time to purchase an RV. It's time for the Destinations A to Z video spotlight. This month, it's talking about getting prepared for the best RV show in the world in Tampa, Florida. That's right, the Florida RV Super Show. In this video, we will let you know everything you need to know prior to going to the show, including the best way to get tickets and where parking is located. 
A link to the description will be in the video description below. It's time for the RV YouTube channel spotlight. This month, it's Happy Travels Life is this month's channel spotlight. They are Sam and Lexi. They travel around the US in their travel trailer, seeking out incredible experiences to share with you. Their goal is to inspire more people to follow their dreams and enjoy life while you can. Their common statement is do what makes you happy while you're able to do it. Be sure to check out their channel and let them know that you've seen it here on Destinations A to Z. A link to their channel will be in the description of this video below. It's time for the most important thing, RV recalls for 2024. Yes, they've had a significant drop. There's only three recalls this month, if you can believe it. And yes, you can link out to those in the video description below. No need to actually remember what I'm saying. Grand Designs RV, reverse plug blade on electrical outlet. Electrical outlet failure can cause a fire. Total number of units affected is 1,011. It affects the 24 reflection travel trailer. Prevo, obstruct this enter may cause unexpected braking. A driver assist system that does not function properly or may engage the brakes unexpectedly or fail to engage the brakes as intended could cause a crash. Potential number of units affected is 183. It affects the 24H345, the 22 through 24H345 VIP, equipped with the Prevo driver assist. Tiffin Motorhomes, incorrect proper line fitting, may cause a fire and a fuel leak, and the presence of an ignition source can cause a fire. Potential number of units affected is seven. It affects the 24 Allegro Open Road and Allegro Bay Motorhomes. There you have it, guys. That's all the recalls we got for the month of January, which is great news for all of us RVers. However, I do want to mention out there, for those that actually have the change for the propane fire from Tiffin, you may want to check out Gas Stop to prevent gas leaks altogether. It detects it and cuts it off before you actually have a fire. That is something that you definitely don't want. You don't want it to be in an RV fire. And speaking of which, be sure to check the link in the video below of how to prepare yourself in case of something like this. Also guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to share it out to other fellow RVers. Want to wish each and every person a happy new year and hope you have safe and enjoyous camping trips all year. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Remember, safe travels.